G'day, my name's Wilfred West from Locksport, Victoria, Australia. Today's date is the 1st of the 4th, 2015, and it's 8 to 11 in the morning. Going to go for a quick drive up to the bakery, and then we're going for a quick drive um, to the surf beach. Then we'll see how we feel, I might go for a drive around, it's running a bit late. Annoying thing, you can see that smoke in the air as well.
difference. Every time a dead kangaroo right here gets sent. I mean, slowly dragged it across the other side of the road. Whether it be at the Olympics, like some kind of field day on it, whether it be at the team, or the bump band here as well. And they're not clipped. I don't know, expect to clean it up. But rights of clean athletes to compete against other clean athletes must be protected. Some may find this hard to believe, but these allegations had to go before a sports tribunal. The reason I say this is that in fairness to the players, the fans, the general community and the global community who watches up that's a that's a look that's a that's a good question. The, the, the problem is generally if you do not have a witness present in the witness box, then all parties involved, you know, in this case the players and Asada, don't have the opportunity to actually cross-examine that person and question them over their evidence. So in any case, not having, I think, uh, the witness in person to give evidence is obviously going to make it more difficult to prosecute your case. Clarify, um, why do you have not have any legislative powers uh, to force Dank to testify? And if you do, why haven't you used them? Uh, we had no powers whatsoever to force Stephen Dank uh, to testify. No. That's what we're going to leave that press conference. That's Ben McDevitt. Thank you. He's the, uh, the boss God, of the Australian over. Sports Anti-Doping Authority. He was giving his response, the organisation's response. Who cares? 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 Who cares?
all I do is just try to make money. And, uh, Shots of the big kangaroo there, which is absolutely huge. Man. Still, these 10 kangaroos there, but they're all baby ones. The adults are sort of left, most of the adults are left, I think. Welcome. 
decide whether it will lodge an appeal and has started reviewing the AFL Anti-Doping Tribunal's findings. SADA's Chief Executive Ben McDevitt said an appeal is still an option. He's scathing of Essendon, describing the supplement scheme as an utter disgrace. They've been used as pin cushions and we don't know what was injected into them. Mr McDevitt has defeated the SADA's investigation club's 2012 supplements regime. Yeah, but why keep harassing the players for, Job you idiot? Job losses and a change to the way Australia's military services piece worked with the part of the biggest shake-up of defence in more than two decades. Henry Green reports in Parliament House. Defence oh. Minister Kevin Andrews is today releasing the long-awaited First Principles Review along with the government's response to try to improve the efficiency of defence. Its recommendations include reabsorbing the Defence Material Organisation into the Defence Department. Peter Jennings from the Australian Strategic Policy Institute expects there will be numerous job losses. Oh, Typical. Numbers. The review includes new accountability measures and duties. My name is Wilfred West Navy, Army from Locksport, Victoria, Australia, signing off. Thank you for watching my videos and all comments are welcome. You all have a nice day.